Hi and welcome back to my channel. Is it going? Yes, it is going. <laughs> oh, I'm dropping everything here. All right, I'm going to do another flower in my wildflower journal in my Mala Mala book. <laughs> here it is. It's starting to get a little bit fatter. Remember the last ones we did were the um. Oh, the crimson bottle brush I wrote red bottle brush up of there but that doesn't matter it's actually called the crimson bottle bottle brush I had a little safety pin on here just for looks I might add little bits and pieces as I go along to these sort of things um, and then that was my next one the fringe lily now my next one you can see it peeping out here is the, the um, Banksia so I have my next page here. I've put some flips up here so that I can write information on there. So I'll just put all that aside. I've measured out my fabric. I actually got another piece of hanky. It's going to be this blue vintage hanky. Now I have still haven't got my photos developed, but these are all photos that we took going around Australia, and um, oh, they're just stunning of the wildflowers so these are all flowers that I want to get printed out and um, put in this journal um, there see there's the fringe lily this one had um, it was a bit different on the west coast it had other little um, parts coming out of it like I said they you know they the some of some of the flowers are all around Australia and others were just on the west coast so um, the banksia what i want to showcase today is um some of them were huge some of the banksias were huge and some were quite small there's another fringe lily um this is a type of banksia i'm pretty sure and the one i want to showcase today is see this is a reef flower and we found one in the shape of Australia <laughs> it was pretty cool this is the banks here that I want to sort of showcase today it's quite a large um, Western Australian one and it was just vivid orange like look at look at that that is a gum blossom and no joke it was like this round it was huge so yeah they're um, like, like uh, here's another Banksia, which was growing out of the flower, grows out of the ground. Um, it's not actually in a tree type thing. So there's different types. Here's another type of Banksia. And I love the shape of the leaves. That's what drew, drew, has drawn me to the Banksia. There's another Banksia. It's quite deep burgundy colour. Um, the banksias are quite common on the east coast where we came from um, but they are a lot smaller so yeah like just the shape of the leaves look look at this one it's quite round they're just amazing they leave these big nuts now the one see this is all down the east coast so this is what we got um, on the coast where we lived and um, some of them were smooth edged leaves others were crinkly leaves so it just depends you know you get these leaves that are so pretty and um, when my daughter got married there's see that one so that's the flower that's the nut that's the leaves it's got the measurements there too and um, they can be quite big so you can get different types of leaves on there too and um, when our daughter got married she said oh mum can you bring some banksia leaves down because I want to put them in my bouquet and they just stunning like look at them some of them are just stunning so um, hers were sort of just more I'll show you something like that that we put in her one similar to that just with crinkles in it and um or probably like that and then you'll see the banksia featured in um may gibbs with the gum nut 
flowers, the big bad Banksy man, <laughs> and um, so just they're just the oddest sort of thing but they're absolutely beautiful you'll see these big pops of color this is like the one I showed you in the photograph that we took um, pictures of so that's um, what I want to do today where did I have a piece of fabric I had a piece of fabric where did it go oh, it's up here. I snagged it with my book Alright, oh, and I want to get some, these are all cottons that I found in a haul a couple of weeks ago. Um, I, <laughs> Pickle, you want to come sit up here? He wanted so bad to sit with me, I set it all up, and then he's taken off, so <laughs> he might come up here later. Um, so I'm just going to get different uh, shades of orange out here. Um, winging it by the seat of my pants again I don't um, have any plans except what you can see on the table <laughs> and then I drew this picture a couple of days ago so I might um, uh, some of the stitches I might put some what do you call it bullion stitches in to make it sort of more um, more substance so I'll just cut this picture out and just get an idea of, I wanted to use a piece of this fabric as a backing. I just love the bright, and when I look at it with these, it's yellow, <laughs> but that won't matter. That won't matter. I, I want that as a sort of a backing and it may fray a little bit, but we'll figure that out. So this was just an old retro curtain that I found at the op shop. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So So we'll just cut that out and something about that shape I want use the fabric scissors doesn't have to be perfect as you can see I'm not being perfect just that shape I'm just doing a little bit bigger because I know that I'm going to lose some of that with some fray. <laughs> okay, so this is my top corner. I want to put it more in that sort of area. The um, stitching. And here. I might put a little bit of glue down maybe that was a bit too much let's just take a bit off just want to get my needle through it as well Alright, let's find some needles. I love this little needle holder. Found it at the op shop. <laughs> um, get tend to that one. Go this longer one. Alright, now I'm going to start with what colours. Um, I know that it goes up into white and cream colours, so maybe start with the darker colours. I haven't got 
these ones on a um, spool yet. So I'll just be doing um, straight stitches. A lot of the, what I've done already is not has not been hard at all. It's um, just been straight stitches. Good, just made it really easy. All right, I might put some music on and um, we'll get going.
Okay, we're over halfway up the banks here and it's just all straight stitches. And I've just tried to blend them in as I go up along the um the actual flower head. So we'll keep going. <clears throat> I'm finished my flower pickle hey he come up here finally and wanted to have a little pat didn't ya hey look oh he's finished it hey <laughs> all right so I've just um I really like that fabric behind the back of here you're gonna get in the shot now are ya Mm, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. I really like the old oh, pull. Just put us back a bit, hey? So we can both get in. Oi, sit. Sit. I'll put it on you then. So um, I really like that backing fabric that I used because 
you sit here on your lammy because I could see little peeps of um, the green in here I could see little peeps of the green through throughout it and that to me made it look nice because then I don't have to go and put little peeps of green thread <laughs> hey yeah you cheeky boy you can't lay on my my stitching mat you have to lay on your lammy hey you're waiting for daddy to come home aren't you hey where's daddy is he gonna come home soon yeah <laughs> So that looks really nice. I'm really happy with that. And then I've got the bullion stitches up the top. And um, yeah, so that's my um, Banksia. Now you're going to move. I need you to move, Pickle. Come on. Come on. Hop over here. Good boy. Sit there. Sit, sit on there. All right. So yeah, that came in really handy, that fabric. I mean, it gave it a little padding as well as I did it. All right, now the leaves on here. Now people think these are these proteas are Australian. They're actually not. I'm pretty sure they're um, African, South African. And we get a lot of these proteas put um, photographed in Australian type flowers, which is a bit of a shame. But anyway, I might use the leaves off here and just change it up a little bit so I'll take the flower out and I'll try and cut some leaves that are crinkled So that's my flower. I absolutely love it. Love it how it turned out. Might try and poke you under there. Good. Hey, where's my album? Oh my. My journal. Yeah, you're going to move out of the way a little bit. Hey. Of course, Mum is excited to put this in. Absolutely love it. Now, where's my scissors? Let's give this a cut, pickle. Let's. Apple here. That's going to go there and get it centered. I'll cut this a little here. Love it. Love it. Now let's get a tag and we'll. Uh, 
bit of tag to it. I've got my fine markers. You're having a big stretch, are you? Hey? And let's see how we spell the name Banksia. We can't get that wrong, can we, Pickle? Hey? Yeah. Now I'm not sure what <laughs> what this one is actually called. Um, I did find it in here. I think it's that one. It was on the west coast. It could be that one. Could be that one. No, it had crinkly leaves. I know it had crinkly. Oh, it's this one. I don't know whether this one's got a common name. No. So we just write banks, yeah. That's fine. I might write that way. There we go. It says Banksia. And we'll put this where we hang this one, pickle. Like that. Hmm? Isn't that looks good? We better get a pin. A little sticky beak, aren't ya? So I still haven't been able to get to the shops to get my photos printed. I'll get there with it. Where are we going to put the pin pickle? Hey, you going to help mummy? Hmm? Is this here? What is she shivering for? What are you shivering for? You silly Billy. Hey. You don't like the smell of that glue, do you? I don't blame you. I'm doing the lessons. Okay, put away. So that's my banks yard. Now I won't sew that on until I have the uh, the next page on here. But I'll fill in the details under here. Um, how I sewed it, what I used, um, the date, the name and all that sort of stuff. I like it. I like it a lot. Now we, we had some... Oh here it is. I had some orange lace I was gonna put on a page which page pickle hey this page which side I'm gonna put it on this side Orange on there and I had this little piece here too. I might put it along here.
a little bit of orange there, a little bit of orange there. I'll probably glue that down. And did I put a bird in? I think I put a bird in the page. Oh yeah, it's back here. Put the crimson chat. Crimson chat in there and I put some of these tabs on so that's my banksia my third flower in the book here's a close up of it look I think it turned out beautiful and it was so easy to do these were just straight stitches and a few bullion stitches um, a chain stitch for the stem and some paper leaves and this is the sort of thing I just want to showcase through through the um, the album just the simplicity of um, some of these flowers all right so if you're new here I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel press that bell button to get notifications um, give me a thumbs up let me know what you think of um, what I'm doing and um, say hi if you're new and um, you can check out the little heart button thanks heart button below if you feel inclined and um, I will catch you again soon for a new video bye you gonna say bye pickle huh you gonna say bye lift your paw bye <laughs>